guys, it's boy nobody from Sweden and in today's video we are going to be talking about the biggest hack in CSGO history, a literal heist taken straight out of payday 2, absolutely crazy, also you may notice my rank is only MGE, I am going to go ahead and blame my dad for this because I've been playing a lot with him. Now if you're interested in CS you probably know that recently there was quite a big hack involving CS money. Here is one of the first tweets that I saw from Arrow. Well over 1.6 million dollar was stolen from CS money, 30 plus accounts and the hackers just sent out skins. Uh, here are some of these stolen skins which are absolutely insane. You see Stat Track Butterfly Emerald, we have Karambit Case Harden with the super blue gem pattern and full backside blue gem basically. A lot of crazy skins and at the time I just thought oh well that's weird it's a uh, someone hacked CS money or, or it had a malfunction something happened but what was weird was CS money started sending out trades to a bunch of high profile traders now since this initial hack happened two days ago I can't actually show you the expired trades but I do have screenshots of them so here are some of the screenshots of the trades that I myself got. Now, I didn't accept any of them, I didn't cancel any of them, I just let them be and then let them expire. As you can see, items now unavailable because these same items were sent to a bunch of different accounts, so it was basically just a fight who accepted the trade first, got the skins. Now, I didn't accept any of these trade offers because I knew something was wrong with CS Money, obviously, because you can see there's tons of skins, tons of trades being sent out which shouldn't be sent out. Uh, if you don't know, this red laminate actually had three I buy power stickers on it. So these are no kid skins. These are very expensive skins. And uh, I just didn't accept any of them because I didn't want to be part of it. I didn't know if it was a glitch or a hack or whatever. I just thought better stay out of it and be safe than uh, potentially get trade banned or something. Now, I think later that day of the hack, this guy called Timmy, who is the chief communications officer. <laughs> at the parent company of CS Money. Basically, he is the communications guy at CS Money. He made a tweet longer update on CS Money hack, and then with a tweet longer, which reads, here we go. This story started on Twitter, and it makes sense to continue here. Yes. TLDR, we got hacked. Yeah, no shit. By stealing our mobile authentication files, someone took control of our bots. The hackers already stole around $6 million worth of skins. Now, I do believe this six million dollar is CS money price on the skins so in real value it's probably around 14 dollars <laughs> no I'm kidding but in all seriousness this could be anywhere from two to four million dollars of real cash probably around 2.5 to 3.5 million dollars of real cash that is a large heist that's like real bank robbery type level of a hack or a, uh, a heist now this was a bit scary to read a uh, disclaimer for he writes at this moment, while I am writing these words, we are seeing the second wave of hackers' activity as they are starting to transfer skins to accounts named CS Money Recovery. Now, for those that don't know, though- Oi. Oh, look at this. These were some skins that I uh, bought today. Very interesting. If you uh, want to sell skins, well, I have my Twitter account in the description of the video where uh, I buy skins if you ever want to sell. Just a quick shout out because uh, look at all these skins. Wow, crazy. <laughs> but yeah, as I said, many of these trades were being sent out to traders such as myself and Jesus and a bunch of other traders. And I'm thinking, why are they doing this? Because that's not part of the hack. If we accept skins that were hacked from CS Money, what does that achieve the hackers? Well, I think it was actually because hackers stole so many skins that if they didn't send decoy trades, basically, to confuse CS Money, it would be way too obvious. So I think it was a sort of of diversion made by the hackers to confuse CS Money and confuse everyone about the situation and what was happening. I think that kind of backfired though, because with these trades, so many traders started tweeting about it, and 
And actually, because of these trades, CS Money, that's how they got informed about the hack. So it's kind of counterproductive, I guess. And now you're basically up to date with the whole hack situation. You can see there is a ton of skins missing from CS Money. Six million dollars of what I guess is CS Money value. So millions nonetheless of real cash value of skins that are just missing. Something very important just happened like literally minutes ago where Bitskins tweeted the hackers are banned on Steam by <laughs> any waves bye Felicia <laughs> Update on the list, added markets that banned hacked accounts, added all stolen items. Thank you, CSGO and Valve Software for helping us banning the hackers. And then they have their Google Sheets link, where you can see all of the accounts, all of the Steam64 permanent IDs, the approximate value of what they have in their inventory, and then if their inventory is private or public, and if they're banned, and you know, on what sites they're banned on. So it's very cool, you can see Bitskins, for example, they uh, banned all the bots, CS Money obviously banned banned all the bots, and then GamerPay banned all the bots, very cool. But nonetheless, almost all of these accounts, except for these recovery bots, have been banned by Steam. And you can see all of these have like these weird names, buying 87% buff, 89% buff, 92% Steam community market. All of these weird names for buying for a certain percentage, trying to imitate a real account. And as you can see, if we just go to one of these, uh, you can see his inventory is completely private profile private but he is actually steam community banned it doesn't show up here but if we go to steam rep you can see community ban so he can't trade the skins he can't do anything with them they're gone and you can see the approximate value if we just sum this together 1.5 million dollars but that's what we can see from the public that's not the number cs money gave which is 6 million which is way 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 more so there's probably a lot of accounts that we don't know of these records recovery bots we don't know how much they have and now one important question that i have is what is going to happen with these skins so let's pretend that i'm the hacker and all of these skins that you see here are hacked skins that i took from cs money now i am community banned yeah as a hacker that makes sense but what are they gonna do with the skins are they going to return them to cs money which is a trading site and therefore kind of against steam TOS, but not really? Or are the skins just going to be perma stuck in the hackers' inventories, meaning that all of those six million dollars in skins are just gone, out of circulation, and forever locked away in the hackers' inventories? Or are they going to do another solution? I'm not sure. They could duplicate the skins, have one set of them be locked on the hackers' inventory, dupe it, and then return it. I don't know. It's, it's really up to Valve how they want to do this, but already I am quite quite surprised that they have banned so many of the hackers. This means that Steam, to some extent, is taking responsibility or at least helping CS Money out, which is a bit surprising because uh, according to Steam TOS and in the history that Steam has with sites like this, they haven't been very helpful. Does this maybe mean that in the future we might see that uh, CS and Valve together are more helpful towards sites and that they refund skins if something like this happen or become closer connected to the sites? I don't know. But I think that is very interesting, and that is basically how CS Money got hacked for six million dollars with a such such a th simple thing as them having their mobile authentication files stolen. That is very interesting. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Very interesting, uh, and I hope we get to see that Valve eventually will refund the skins. If they don't, is this going to impact Impact the market? Probably not. I mean, 6 million, which is kind of, let's say, 3.5 million cash value, sounds like a lot, but let's be honest, in the whole of CS, it's not really that much. It wouldn't impact the market. What would impact the market potentially is if Valve does something to refund or help out. I think that would positively impact the market because then people would believe and trust Steam and Valve a little bit more. So, thank you guys for watching. Now I'm going to go log into my alt accounts which are all the hackers accounts and sell the skins <laughs> i am kidding haha <laughs> yeah it ah! oi i sneezed